uh, one of the challenges that we have at our school is a high number of students not attend the transition days. Um, this is really hard for teachers to get to know future students as well as students to become familiar with our school environment. Um, and we find that if students attend these transition days, they find it um, a lot easier to transition into prep the following year. So that's a definite um, challenge that our school is faced with, as well as parents not understanding their role in the transition process. Some of the challenges that we've faced with transitions um, is that we're still starting our relationships with the school um, and building on our service at the moment being only two years old, um, we're still developing um, our sense of identity as a service, our connections with the community, um, our staff um, relationships, um, our relationships with the families, um, getting to know each other as staff, building mm -hmm. the connections. We have quite a large amount of staff in the service, 12. Mm -hmm. So getting to know each other, joining together our philosophy, working together. Mm -hmm. uh, finding time, obviously, as um, our kindergarten sessions are very different timetables. So often the teachers mm -hmm. don't have a lot of time to get together both with ourselves, but also with the primary school mm. teachers to be able to make those connections. We work long hours, our service, some of the sessions begin at eight o'clock in the morning and some go through to five o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. As we are joined to the school on the school site, we're able to access the school environment regularly. So usually once a week, all of the groups are able to go and visit the library. Uh, we're able to share some of our professional development with the prep teachers. So they invite us to come and take part in some of their um, professional development and we also can invite them to be part of it. We currently write transition statements that we share with the school. We also attend a Wyndham City Council transition swap uh, afternoon where all the local schools join together um, and all the kindergartens join together to swap the transition statements and the information. We are starting to build relationships with the school which is helping us use the school spaces. We've um, invited the school to come over and they've shared some experiences with us over at the kinder. So they've come over and um, seen our rabbits grow from little kits to um, big rabbits and we've also started to build relationships with the children as they move on to school as well. So it's nice for them to come over to the fence and say g'day when they're past students as well. I think it would be beneficial for the prep teachers as well to be a part of this process and to go into the kindergartens, get to know the future students. Um, I think that will make a much easier transition process for teachers and for students as well if um, they've built a rapport with each other. So this year we're really starting from scratch, right from the very beginning being a new service. So. Uh, for me, it would be establishing those good practices and developing a rapport with the schools, our local schools in the area to be able to have that really good open communication that we can, we can um, talk and share information about children. So I'd like to see lots of reciprocal visits happening between um, schools and kindergartens. I'd like the kindergarten, the kindergarten teachers to be able to have an opportunity to go over to the schools and see what goes on over there and be able to take our children over there on excursions. I like the prep teachers to be able to come here and observe our children here in the program and see, you know, hands on and very directly what strategies work with particular children that would support them in transition, transitioning across as well. Um, and in particular with children that have some additional needs or may need some additional support transition across to school perhaps some um, perhaps opportunities to have uh, meetings, meetings with the parent the school staff and kindergarten staff 
to all collaboratively work together to share ideas about that child starting school. So having spoken to the kindergarten teachers, having discussions with them and also discussing things once visiting the kinder, um, I've been able to see a lot more and understand why certain things are being done in the kinder and can take little bits and pieces and put that into my classroom. So for example, things like um, when I went to visit the kinder, I saw a lot of the kids able to choose what they wanted to do and were able to create things on their own. Um, whereas in the classroom setting, everything is more structured and organised and this is what you're doing now. So we wanted to have a little bit of that incorporated into the curriculum. So um, I've set up an imaginative play area so the kids can have a go at using their imagination. Um, in that area which is similar to what they did at kinder and it sort of gives them a lot of comfort as well so um, initially in the first couple of weeks of school a lot of the kids are really distressed and coming into school and seeing that was almost like representative of a setting that they had at kinder so it was really nice for them to come in and feel a little bit of comfort from that. I actually feel like we're in, I'm in a really good space for this stage of the year. Um, having done, been a part of this project, we've been able to develop a really good action plan with a, a very set list of tasks and strategies with timelines, set timelines of when they're going to be completed um, to support transition for children and families. And it's been done together with both kindergarten educators as well as the school educators. So I feel like we're all working on the same page. We've got a really clear direction of where we're going to go. So I feel um, quite excited about the year that we've got coming ahead.